Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today we are back again with the Mazda B2200 engine rebuild. So before we get into things, as you might have noticed, I've decided to stick with the hashtag not a rotary series name. Um, I got a lot of suggestions and a lot of them were like piston life or not a rotary life. I didn't want to do like a life series because then I feel like then every other series that I do would be a play on that. And so I decided to stick with hashtag not a rotary. But that being said, this engine itself still needs a name. Like we have Rose for the RX-7, but we don't have a name for this engine. So leave a comment down below. The one with the most likes will be the name within reason. Uh, if it's like Poopy McPoop Face, uh, that's not going to get chosen. But if it's a reasonable name and it has the most likes, then it'll be the name of the engine. So for this video, we are going to start the teardown of the engine. Uh, this will be basically all the accessories. We'll probably do exhaust valve covers, intake, stuff like that. When we actually take the head off, uh, you have to take it off in reverse of the torque spec because I am, the reason I'm doing this, like I said in the last video, is so I learn how to do it properly. So we're gonna try to do it as proper as possible. And so I'm gonna save all of that actual uh, disassembling the actual core of the engine. Uh, we'll save that for the next video, but this video will be all the basic stuff uh, as well as getting it on the engine stand. I know it's already on the engine stand, um, but we're going to cut to that now. Uh, if you guys are wondering, this engine stand is the same engine stand as the one that I used to put together my 13B uh, from Rotary Life, although I did paint it this uh, really cool blue. I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out, but it's still the same engine stand for those of you wondering. Um, so yeah, let's get it on the stand and then uh, we'll start taking it apart from there. So there you have it for the first step of taking apart the B2200 engine, which still needs a name, but we took off the exhaust manifold, the complete intake manifold, we took the valve cover off, uh, and the front cover off, water pump, thermostat housing, oil filter, stuff like that, all the basic stuff that is literally just undoing bolts. Up next, uh, we will take the head off, uh, which should be done in reverse torque order, which I believe can be found on MazdaTrucking.com. Um, but if you guys have any other resources for manuals or torque specs or anything like that, please let me know. Um, because I am new to this, I'm not sure where to find information. But that should be up next. Also, the engine stand actually broke at the end of the night last night. The front wheel came off, so we're going to have to replace that. But yeah, super simple. The only issue we really ran into last night was this rear, I believe it's a coolant hose. Um, that's actually metal, has started to deteriorate and rust. I actually found parts of it 
uh, down the line in the hose, uh, which is bad. So if we are going to put this into a vehicle, we should address that. That's not the end of the world, um, and that's not at the top of the priority list. Top of the priority list is still getting it all disassembled um, and stuff like that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the update on the B2200 engine. Um, so far, so good. No, no real issues besides the engine stand and uh, this little rust spot, which hopefully this hose should be pretty easy uh, to take apart. I also might be making a junkyard run sometime soon, so uh, hopefully if there's any B2200 parts, I can pick it up there. Uh, but yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys. I, 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 I,